How does one end up as a war journalist in Cairo? If you can tell me a few words about that. Uh, about being journalist in Cairo? Yes. Uh, actually, the, the revolution or the uprising, it depends on which word you want to use, uh, changed a lot of things for me. Um, because before I was a journalist, but uh, Egypt wasn't like on the spot, uh, on the spot news. It wasn't, uh, um, especially for the French media, the, the, the coverage was very, uh, very thin from the, 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 the events in Egypt. But of course, the revolution changed everything, and Egypt was the um, was the, the I think that the whole world was focusing on Egypt at these times. So, um, so for me, I'm a journalist. Uh, I'm freelance journalist. I'm working for the Swiss Radio, working for uh, Radio Canada and RFI as well. And so, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it went. <laughs> Were you treated different from uh, your male counterparts as a journalist in uh, in Egypt? Because there are a lot of s different sexual taboos and uh, very uh, clear splitting. Yeah, um, actually I must say that uh, being a woman, I think it's easier than being uh, a foreign uh, male. Because I can go everywhere. I can go with uh, the women in the mosque, for instance. But also I can go in the street with guys, I can go uh, to the desert with the Bedouins. And Egypt is not a dangerous country, uh, wasn't a dangerous country, maybe it's a bit, uh, it's changed a bit because of the revolution, because now the police is not in the streets. But um, no, as a woman it's, easy, it's easier, uh, par it's a paradox, but uh, uh, for my work it's easier. But I must, I must say too that uh, as a woman, just a woman in a street for instance, um, all the them suffering uh, from sexual, not sexual harassment, but harassment in a street, like uh, all the guys are saying hello, um, you're pretty, blah blah blah, or they are, they are doing like this, like, you know? <laughs> so yeah, it's exhausting. Yeah. Uh, you, sa you said uh, it was a uh, very a peaceful place before, but now is a bit uh, more dangerous. Um, what do you mean about that? Have, have you witnessed things uh, changing, being more violent now after the revolution? Um, actually, I didn't, but um, before the, 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 the revolution, it was a very security state with the police every meter in the streets. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't very effective, but at least there were some some policemen in, in, in the streets. Uh, now um, the police is not uh, respected anymore because uh, um, it was the, the main point of the revolution. It was against the torture and the security abuses and um, the, um, the emergency law. It was against all that. So now the, the, the police is not respected anymore. And uh, plus, you have to you have to know that uh, there is um, a deep economical crisis at the moment in Egypt. So the people are they are suffering from that. Some of them are, I think, hungry now. They are suffering from uh, from uh, hunger. And so, um, yeah, it's the city is more tense than before. And just the, the thing I, I, I saw that the, the people are fighting in the streets and it was uh, never like this before. There was a lot of talk on the, mod, on, on the topic of women involved in the, uh, spring, in the Arab Spring. How did you see that from there, from ground zero? Were women opinion leaders, were women involved in the conflict? Uh, yes, sure. On on the, on Tahrir Square, especially, uh, I saw many women, and they were with the guys all together. They were fighting for a new uh, political system for the um, for the fall of the of the regime, or the fall of Mubarak, and they were on the um, on an equal footing, of course. Uh, but um, I asked I asked her uh, them. What, what they want especially, and if they, they want new rights for women. And um, it's a paradox as well, they, uh, women there, um, they, um, they don't want uh, specific rights for now, they just want democracy, they want uh, equality for everyone, they want freedom, 
but they said that uh, okay no it's not the proper time now to to fight for our rights we have to wait uh, when the when the when the system will be uh, will be okay when the democracy will be here we, we, we will be able to fight for for our rights specifically uh, in the middle of all the excitement and uh, the violence and the events uh, were you at uh, did you feel at any point that your um, that your life might be threatened or that your well-being is in any way threatened uh, yes um, it happens uh, uh, one time uh, especially, it was the um, the day when the pro Mubarak's attacks attacked uh, Tahrir Square. I don't know if you remember, but they were like uh, pacific demonstrators mm -hmm. there, and uh, they were attacked by uh, some pro Mubarak. Actually, those guys they were paid by the regime to um, to fight with the demonstrators. And this day, yeah, it, it was very hard because uh, the um, the square was um, it, it was like a big chaos. You didn't know who uh, was uh, fighting against who, and I just remember that I I need some help to cross the square, and I uh, a guy took me with uh, with his hand, and in the other hand he he got like a big knife, and I didn't know you know mm -hmm. if he was dangerous or not. So, and then. Um, I uh, I uh, I have uh, like a rescue in a, in a little mosque, transformed in a hospital, and I saw all the wounded people coming and coming and coming, and yeah, this day it was very hard. But compared to the other journalists, like for instance the the les envoyés spéciaux, I don't know the word yeah. in English, but you know, yes. you know <laughs> what I mean. Um, I think I was like protected because I, I, I know the country, I know I can speak Arabic, so it was easier for me to protect myself. And I didn't uh, sleep in this hotel where, uh, where all the journalists from abroad. And um, so I wasn't like an obvious target. And so I didn't have any problem expect, except this day. Did you have to cover yourself like women do with... Uh, uh I don't know with scarves in order to be on, in the streets because uh, uh, I, I I thought about it uh, this day but I didn't do it so no no because it, it was it was extremely dangerous because mm. you didn't know you didn't know there, there were no rules actually so you didn't know who was who but on on the square it was okay the the people were so nice and. Uh, they, they protect. They protected me actually. So.